Hi everyone, it's Michelle. I have a fun little album for you today. Um, this one's a pretty simple like tea holder album, but obviously you can use it for whatever you want. And I did the binding a little different because I don't know, I just, you know, it's nice to try a new method. So I made these fun pockets and you can see, I just kind of taped them on there rather than make an accordion album or like, you know, the binding. So you see in here I have these tees and they fit perfectly inside, but obviously you can use whatever you want and just switch this method to however you want it to be. But I just love the detail on it using my hip kit um, for this month of April and I just love how it turned out. So this is going to take so little time. All right, we're going to start with the cover since that's pretty basic. Okay, so the cover piece is going to be three and a half by 11 inches. I'm basing mine this way because I want to be the outer. So we're simply gonna score it at three and a quarter, four and three quarters, eight and nine and a half. So three and one quarter, four and three quarters, eight, and nine and a half. All right, and that's gonna give our little, you know, um, spines folding. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my school board and just kind of get it together. So you could not just use that for this, but you could also use it for any other album ideas. I've done a older pocket one with this a different way. And I love this kind of album. You can just switch it up. So after you have your folds, it's going to look like this. All right, so you could even put string in there. I'm gonna go ahead and corner around my ends of the cover. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that to the side. So I'm using four pockets in here. Um, I've already done three of them and I'm gonna make one with you guys. Um, and I'll show you a few options you have while you're doing this. Right, I'm just gonna put this over here. So our pocket paper is going to be three and a half by six and a half inches. Okay, at the six and a half inch mark, we're gonna score it at a quarter, three and a quarter, and six and a quarter. So a quarter inch, three and a quarter, and six and a quarter. All right, and depending whichever way your paper is, I'm gonna put this to the side and you're just gonna score it at a quarter inch. All right, so we have this and you have your two ends. So I guess it just really depends which way um, you want this to fold. So I want this end to be the part that hangs on my album. So I'm going to cut um, this right here. So you're gonna cut this little strip off until you get to that score line. Right here. I didn't cut mine all the way, let me get through. And I always like to just do that. I'm gonna do it again on this side. And I'm also going to um, cut this so I don't have any problems when I'm folding it. So if you want yours, you know, on this side, you could use that, but I'm personally using this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold all those little scores. And this is basically it for our pocket. And I made this, and the reason why I made this end, because you don't necessarily need this part, um, but I feel like it gives you more room in that pocket. Because if you add that glue, you're not gonna have the same amount of room. And 
and then we've got this bottom piece here. So I'm going to actually glue this. So glue that here. And then you see you have that extra little tab right there. And then just fold this up. And just do this four times. down. All right. Now it's the easy part. We're really just taping this. So in my album, I want to show you real quick. I taped mine this way. You can also do it the other way and I'll show you. I just liked it this way. So I'm going to put my tape on the back, but you could put it on the front and have it go back this way. So it's not showing. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I did it that way, but so I'm putting it on the back. You could use glue or tape. I'm using um, tape just because that's what I have here. You could also notch that if you want. Oh, sorry. So make sure you put this in order the way you want it to be. I'm gonna put mine in order. I like this. So remember I have the tape in the back and this is going to be like perfect. So just kind of follow that line. And you're just basically going to have that swinging door right there. And we're going to do that with all of them. So I've already taken tape on all of these and put it, I'm just peeling it off now. And again, I'm putting it in the back. Your second one. So I don't know if this is an easier alternative to um, accordion. I like it because sometimes I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I like to just switch up the method. So there's three. You could even put little tabs on it. And the last one right here. Sorry, my pokey tool, you guys know it's always missing. Right, and the last one. And I feel like this is an easier way, but maybe some might not think so. <laughs> you guys let me know what you think about it. So there, it's like all on there and our album is pretty much done except the decorating, but isn't that easy? So I'm going to now decorate it. I'll show you what I did. Once you guys know, I just pretty much layer. So I've got all these fun little pieces here. Let's see what we can use. And I loved um, layering up with these buttons. So I am of course going to use some foam tape because it's my favorite to use on my albums. Let's see if I can get something cute going on over here. So I'm gonna kind of do both. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use some of my little wood buttons and see what I can come with. Oh no, I ran out of my hearts. Um, Maybe a piece of flower. Hold on, I got something in there. Let's see if I can get it out. It's a little piece of wood in there. That's all right, I'll just leave it. And I've got some stickers. cute and then this one here I feel like it needs the rainbow again some more double-sided foam tape just a sticker and this last two See if we can make something fun. This is very 
busy. So I don't want to make it too busy. Just leave that and put on a sticker. We got some puffy stickers going on over here too. Here, I'm gonna put on the sticker. It says keep on going, keep on growing. Drop my sticker. All right, and then let's do this last one here. And I also put a little sticker right here just to, you could like add another pocket even there, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. Put it right here. I just feel like I want to make more on here. Because it's so plain. Actually, I might take this one off and put another flower there. I wonder if one of these little buttons would fit in the middle here. I think that would be fun. And last, I love this printed last sheet of paper. I love the uh, prints. I love all the prints, but I love the rainbow, and this is probably my favorite one from the month. I've got this. And the collection is called Chasing Dreams, so it couldn't be any more perfect than that. <clears throat> and I usually just grab these little tees. So there's four. in there on the top so you can see for reference how big <clears throat> but it fills it up really nicely because we've got a lot of room in this album even though they're just such little pockets you could put sequins in here little washi samples photos so here's inside let me grab this and then we're just gonna do the front, which I just added pretty much a little button right here. And a little Velcro strip, which I tell you that I get from the dollar store, or you can get it online. something to put on the front. I wonder if this would work. Just something really simple. Because it looks simple, and then when you open it, you have this fun little surprise all in here. So that's the album, you guys. I love pockets. You guys love pockets. This is a really fun album. You can see it's just so flexible when you do it this way, and that's what I like. You could even do something sideways and make your uh, pocket on the top, too. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and you can follow the Hip Kip Club uh, for more fun inspiration. Thank you guys.